We have made it. We've made it through all the technical difficulties, and now we're going to flip through Motion and Simple Machines. Brand new unit from the Good and the Beautiful, and I'm so excited. Let's get all these out of the way. We're going to start out with the course book. Now let me move my microphone cable. All right, here we go. So hopefully this is a little clearer for you guys. I'm not sure why my camera is not focusing, but you know, new things, new technologies. We've got the book pack that we'll look through and we'll take a peek at this book as well. The lesson extensions are gonna be in the student journal for the older kids. And we'll take a look at that after we flip through this. Supplies needed. This is a long list of supplies and that's because this unit has a lot of hands-on activities. But I would still recommend that if you're going through these and it's something that you don't have, go check out that activity and make sure that you would want to do it before you go purchase it. All right, vocabulary words. We tend to leave ours in the book rather than put it on a science wall. And then I just put a little tab on the word we're at and we review them each lesson. Okay, here's the first lesson. Here's your little notes where it tells you to go to the lesson extension. Videos. I tend to like my videos nice and edited. However, I just am not sure that I have enough time to get them all out back to back for you guys. And we're gonna use these units for this next school year that we're hoping to start on Monday. So I wanted to get it out there and I figured live, we can test it out and see how you guys feel about this. See if this is a better way to get the flip throughs of the units out to you quicker especially for these new releases i know that quicker is better all right let's check out grades three through six student journal you notice here that they'll cut these out and then tape glue whatever put them in Nice and easy. Let's check out seven through eight. Let me move my pile of books. There we go. Seven through eight. Now remember, this is the one that has the extensions. So you'll see that a lot of it is pretty similar, especially in this particular particular unit. But here's the extensions. They have the deeper look, and then they'll have a little space to write notes. We and our family like to do the extensions together. And you just do them at the end of lesson two. We'll jump into the extension and do it together and then just write our notes in here. And then the kiddo who's using this journal will just fill in the lesson portion. I mean, that child is also welcome to write the notes for us, but they will just, you know, let mom borrow the book while we are doing that. Or if they're still not done with it after the lesson, then I will just take a quick copy or something of this one and read it aloud for us while they finish up the activity. If you have any questions, I'm happy to do a little Q&A at the end. You can ask me about this unit. We can dive in at a specific spot or if you have a question about the good and the beautiful in general, I'm happy, happy to answer. I love being a part of your homeschool journey and helping you out in any way that I can. And please let me know in the comments if this is an effective way for you or an acceptable way to be able to get the content a little quicker. All right, let's look at the book pack. So these are the two books that come and they come shrink wrapped. I just opened it up so that we didn't have to watch that too because I don't have a way to speed it up and clip it out. 
All right, so we have becoming an inventor, the wheel, the compass, the printing press. Oh, that's fun to be able to learn the different things. The battery. That's going to be fun. Okay, in sports, this is pretty cool. I took a peek of it to see if it was going to fit in my camera. I'm pretty excited to be able to see all of the different pieces needed of movement that go into sports. Oh, even bowling. I know there's a lot of math that go into these too. It would be fun to find the math connection as well as the movement connection. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the, let's take a look at the chapter book. So I'm not going to flip through every page for you, but we have Archimedes is one of the greatest thinkers the world has ever known. He invented screws and levers and discovered the law of buoyancy. But what was his life like? Step into the world of ancient Greece and learn about how Archimedes lived and what led him to make such remarkable discoveries. That is really cool. So this one is probably one I will do as a read aloud with my kiddos. And they've got... So it's got a 14 chapters. Ooh, let's get that focus here. There we go. And then we've got some illustrations in there. That's kind of fun. I usually do our read alouds at bedtime after we, you know, get the kids ready for bed. We'll gather back together and do a read aloud. And I like to do a novel as well as a well, I guess a l right now we'll probably do a lot of novels. We'll do, I usually do two books. So we'll do like a history read aloud or a science read aloud. And in our case right now, we might do a science and a history read aloud. That's how we do those. All right, so I'm not sure, that's it. We've got it nice and done, nice and easy. I don't know if you guys have any questions. There's nobody here watching right now, so maybe not, but I will be going live again tomorrow for the level one language arts, the brand new level one language arts. So if you guys wanna join me and have any questions, I'm happy to answer them at the end of the video. All right, I will see you all tomorrow, bye.